Hi, welcome. It's Kenny Russell, Bulldoze of Faith, Living Life in the Spirit. We are excited to share testimony of what it means to come into the Hebraic roots of the faith. I'm here with uh, my friend Scott, and we're in your home today. Scott, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Excellent. Well, thanks for taking the time just to share. You know, we've had some incredible times together. You've been in Israel. Um, you know, the Father has really ministered to you, taking you and your whole family to the land of Israel. What happened in your life to bring you into Hebraic roots? What, how did you get to a place where you started to follow in a Hebraic way? Well, for me, it was a long process. Uh -huh. uh, it wasn't identified as Hebraic roots until about uh, May of 2011. Okay. But before that, even in the late 90s, I had, I had started pulling away from Halloween uh -huh. I had started pulling away from the Christmas tree. First, it was Santa. Then it was the Christmas tree. I saw that as an idol. Uh -huh. um, it, it, I think the, the Lord was leading me this way, but I didn't know it. Right. Um, I was just going with the thoughts that I had in my mind. So you at the just, time. you know, just as you're reading scripture, looking at scripture, you just start to say, wait a second, there's just something wrong yeah. with these things. Number yeah. one, they're not in this book. Mm hmm. And, you know, what, what do we hear from uh, pastors from the pulpits of most churches? You know, believe the Bible, follow uh, the truth, and walk in the ways of Scripture. So that's amazing. So you were seeing these things, and you're starting to take them out of your life. You said in 2011, you started to identify what this meant to you. Uh, you know, or, or the term Hebrew roots, you know, like for me too, Scott, I didn't, I didn't have a label or an understanding. And in fact, it's not about the label or the understanding. The reason we see or say Hebrew roots is we're coming back to the Hebraic roots of the scripture. Right. And that's where we find right. the foundation. <laughs> it's what the early church walked in. So in 2011, all of a sudden, did someone say to you, you know, you're walking like in the Hebraic roots of the faith. What happened for you to... For me, it was some other people that I knew started making some suggestions along this way, and I started coming to know of other teachers that were in this movement. Uh -huh. um, you know, Michael Rood, Brad Scott, Bill Cloud, uh, all of these people, and I started listening, uh -huh. and, I, and it made sense. It made total sense. Um, around May of... No, Sukkot of 11, we, we made the switch. We started observing Shabbat uh -huh. on the day that it's supposed to be. Wow. I mean, all through the 90s, I was asking the pastors of the churches I was attending, why, why do we observe Sunday? Why don't we observe Saturday? And I would always get the standard answer. Well, Jesus was raised on Sunday. Well, and I always figured they knew better. Right. You know, they, right. They, they They've studied better. this through. They must. Right. So, but, wow. but it never really settled it settled with me and it wasn't until the hebrew roots came to my attention and the, the teachings and it made total sense wow so it talked to me a little bit about family life here you are you're going through this you start studying you start seeing this you know where is your family in the midst of this what's happening with your family um my wife is right there with me uh -huh. very supportive i couldn't have done this without her um the the extended family, um, they're not so understanding. And I think we all go through that when we make this decision. Right. Um, the children, uh, many of them are, are great with it. Some still are hesitant. Right. Um, it just takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? Because all of a sudden yes. you're, there's so much competition out there for the young people's attention. Um, you know, this is a cult. This is not true doctrine. Uh, just I've look around. Look around. Everyone is going this way, and you know, Scott, you're going that way. <laughs> you know. But are we not supposed to stand out? Are, Amen. Are we supposed to go against? Amen. The herd? You know, look. Shouldn't that be the testimony and the sign shouldn't that we're going we, in the direction? Shouldn't we be swimming upstream? Absolutely. Instead of downstream. Absolutely. What does it mean to you, Scott, to walk in the commandments and walk in the feasts? Well, do you do you have a lot of joy oh, now, oh, oh, more yes, joy yes, compared I've to the? Ever since we made the switch, uh -huh. all of this has been nothing but joy for me. Right. You know, it used to be I would come home from work every Friday night, and it would be the same old thing. No, mm -hmm. there was no. You know, I'd be happy to be off work, but there, 
wasn't much joy in it. But now when Shabbat comes, I am thrilled for Shabbat. I'm wow. thrilled for the time with the family. I'm thrilled with the time to study the Lord's Lord, the Lord's Word. Yeah. Um, I'm thrilled to spend time with fellow believers. Yeah. It's a great time. Yeah, it's radical because it's an appointed time, isn't it? You know, the Father says, set this time aside and come and fellowship with me. Fellowship one with each other and have me at the center. And, you know, we're not waiting for, you know, next Easter for this to happen. You know, this is happening every single mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. What an incredible joy. You know, Scott, I really appreciate you taking the time to share. Um, it's a blessing. I love your family. Love what the Father's doing in your in your life, in your family's life, and uh, hallelujah. And I'm thankful that the Father led us to Israel, led us to live in the Galilee, and then uh -huh. he let us meet you and your family, and I hope to come back. Amen. Look forward to seeing you back in the land soon. All right, we want to thank you for watching. Thank Until you. next time. Capture